Hello everyone, welcome back to Shortcode, and this is the first video in the Advanced Python Programming Tutorial series. And this is a follow-up to the beginner and intermediate tutorials, so if you haven't seen those, you'll need to see them before this video, and the playlist link is in the description. In this video, we will be learning about list comprehension. By the way, if this is your first time here, my name is Caleb Shaw, and I post loads of awesome Python tutorials and other computer-related stuff, so if you're interested in that, be sure to subscribe. Now let's get right into it. So in these tutorials, I will be using Sublime Text. If you are following along, you can use whatever text editor you would like, whether that be Idle, Funny, VS Code. As long as it runs Python, you should be okay. Now onto list comprehension. So basically, list comprehension is an easier and more readable way to create a list. So first, as you can see, we just have an empty list right here, called my list, and a for loop. And all it does is iterate through this range of 10 and just appends i to my list. So if we run it, we just get 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now let's turn this into list comprehension. So to do this, we create an empty list. I'll just comment this out. And then we'll do my list equals an empty list. But inside we do i for i in range 10. And then if we print out my list, we get the exact same result. Now, notice how similar it is to our for loop. The first part of our comprehension is the item we want to append to our list. It's the item that we want. You see how my list append i? It's the exact same thing here, apart from we're just saying i. And then the second part is our for loop, which is for i in range 10. And the reason why we would use this list comprehension is that it is much quicker to write and it's all on one line and it's much easier to read. Now let's do another example where I just add one to i each time. i plus 1 for i in range 20. If we run that we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 all the way up to 20. Whereas before we were just getting all the way up to 19 starting from 0. So we could do whatever we want here, we could divide it by 2, we could even print it out, if we just com comment this out, we could do print i, and that would print out, starting from 0, all the way down to 19. And now we can have more advanced list comprehensions with if statements as well. We should just do this with a normal for loop first, so I'm just going to copy and paste this in. And this basically appends all the numbers from 1 to 10 to this my list that are odd because i modulus 2, if it's equal to 1, it means it's an odd number because if the remainder of division by 2 is 0, it's going to be even. If it's equal to 1, it's going to be odd. So if you run it, we get 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Now let's turn this into list comprehension. So we can do my list equals i for i in range 10 if i modulus 2 equals 1 and then we'll print my list and we'll run it and we get the exact same output so what it's doing here the first part is my list dot append i right here this i and then it's the for loop is the middle part for i in range 10 and then the last part is our if statement, if i modulus 2 equals equals 1. So that's pretty much it for list comprehension. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them down below. I will always reply to you guys. If you would like to support me, all you have to do is leave a like on this video. It really does help me out. Also, if this is your first time here, I do daily Python tutorials, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. That's it from me. Cheers and goodbye.